A recent development in the royal saga suggests that Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are considering the possibility of spending Christmas together as a family. According to reports, the couple is considering whether or not to accept an invitation to spend the holiday season with King Charles at Sandringham. This advancement signifies the possibility of a reconciliation in their previously tense relationship. This royal encounter is a distinct possibility following an unexpected telephone conversation between monarch Charles and Prince Harry, during which the Duke wished the monarch well on his 75th birthday. The dialogue, characterized by a change in demeanor following an extended interval of silence, alludes to the possibility of a reconciliation between the father and son. In spite of the excitement surrounding a Christmas invitation, sources inform us that no official arrangements have been finalized as of yet. However, according to reports, the Duke and Duchess are anxious to put their newly formed friendship into practice during a summer visit to Sandringham or Balmoral. The Sunday Times was informed by a close acquaintance of the Sussexes, it is inconceivable that they would refuse an invitation to spend time with His Majesty. However, allow me to retrace slightly. Following a turbulent year for the Sussexes, which was characterized by a sequence of interviews that levied detrimental allegations against the royal family, this olive branch is being extended. Following the publication of Prince Harry's autobiography, Spare, the couple were additionally confronted with an unprecedented demand to leave their residence in the United Kingdom. The king's involvement in this action was the subject of widespread speculation, which added to the tensions in their relationships with the royal family. The Sussexes are presently situated in a precarious position in the United Kingdom and require an official invitation to reside on regal property that is under protection. Their last Christmas at Sandringham in 2018, when they were part of the festive Fab Four, is a far departure from this. Furthermore, the Duke and Duchess have faced obstacles in preserving relationships with their royal counterparts, namely Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, who are the progeny of William and Kate Middleton. Although there were sporadic gift exchanges between the families last year, little Archie and Lilibet have had little contact with their cousins. However, in the midst of the possible joyous atmosphere, inquiries emerge. Advocates for the Sussexes are apprehensive that the disclosure of specifics regarding their birthday conversation with the monarch could sabotage delicate reconciliation efforts following the publication of Prince Harry's autobiography, Spare. There is an increasing recognition that private discussions may be subject to public scrutiny. The king and queen are concerned that if stories about private conversations and phone calls become public, they will be accused of leaking to the press even if it is obvious that they did not originate the information, a royal insider told The Telegraph. They simply believe it is in the public domain, which is synonymous with negative. All eyes are on whether King Charles will extend that elusive Christmas invitation as the holiday season approaches. Is it possible that the Sussexes will be able to reunite with the royal family, or will previous grudges dampen the jubilant festivities? Whether or not Christmas facilitates a regal reconciliation and preserves the status quo of a divided family is a matter of time.